everyone welcome back to my channel i am scorpio simmer and this is love and hip hop atlanta season 5 episode 7 playing with fire so i actually missed like five minutes of the episode so probably missing a little bit of what happened so what i saw is jocelyn and stevie are talking about the contract and having some problems and jocelyn says that stevie only cares about the a business part of their relationship and not about the loving part of their relationship and then uh, we see Carly and um, Carly and I guess a man and she's at her store I believe I was going to say that I don't know what Carly is doing because I see her hooking her closet to him but she's actually talking about um, a business um, offer that she wants to talk about with him and she he actually says I'm not a dog are you sure you're not a dog scrap and Carly actually says she's not sure where she stands with life because she hasn't had she hasn't heard from him but then and she tells Scrap that um, she wants him to come on her radio show for Playboy and they talk about all this um, stuff and then before you know it they start kissing and you freak and I actually saw that coming because it looked like they were gonna kiss anyway I mean there was a vibe that there was a vibe I mean come on have you all seen that she's kind of dating Kylie Jenner's ex-boyfriend, um, Tyga? I mean, at least I think so in the tabloids. And then in the next scene, we see Jocelyn is on a scavenger hunt in someone's house, which is actually Kay Michelle's house. But what the hell was that about? What was up with the scavenger hunt? That was kind of confusing. And then K. Michelle says she is back for good in Atlanta. That she was also on Love and Hip Hop um, New York, I believe. And then she had her own show for a little bit while. So was that show over? She was kind of hopping around shows for a little while. That's what I wanted to say. And then we see Stevie and Mimi talking. And Stevie says that... Um, there is something going on with KK that KK and Don and then he asked Steve he asked Mimi if he can crash for a few days and then Mimi says yes but you know the boundaries you know you were staying in the guest room because she doesn't want to confuse their daughter Eva but then the next scene Jocelyn the, Jocelyn is sitting there and she see Tommy and Tommy is just been you know having all these issues and she says it was the alcohol when she was there at um, Jocelyn's listening party and Jocelyn tells Tommy that she has to get herself together and then in the next scene we see Carly and Jessica Dime and Carly of course is smiling and all giddy because she has been talking to scrap and stuff and they've been getting together for they got to get got together a few times excuse me and she meets up with jessica dime to tell her that they kiss and she tells jessica dime calls her mother thought risa and i'm sorry carly but you are a thought because you're going from this guy to this guy to that guy to this guy she apparently does, doesn't know what she wants. Or maybe she does figure out what she wants by the end of the season. I don't know. And she know... She don't know what she in for. When Tommy figures it out... She pop, Tommy probably going to kick her butt. For real. And then Jess, Jessica tells Carly that she been FaceTiming with a little scrap. What is wrong with these women? They don't... They just got so they don't know boundaries. Unless was she friends with Bambi? If y'all know, just let me know in the comments. And then Chris was 
then we go see then the next scene is with Chris and Mimi now there is this video that I had stumbled upon on Facebook I'll probably get into this more a little bit later Chris was on the show for for love because she loved Mimi for real and she says so on the video but again I'll touch on this in a little bit so um, they're in the house and this is a very heartfelt moment and Mimi tells um, Chris that CB needs a place to crash and explains all of the drama to her then Chris says in her confessional she doesn't know KK and Don and doesn't really care for the drama and she doesn't stress Stevie and you know that they've had this history Mimi and Stevie have had this history for like 15 years and we are, they, this moment probably has been coming for them and they break up because I guess it was for the best and now back for this back to the video that I saw on Facebook she was in it for love she was being herself she says in the video she says if you want to be on TV go on something like Empire or something not to be on reality TV and unfortunately I don't have the link to this video as I said I stumbled stumbled upon it yesterday but if you have seen this video that I'm talking about what do you think of it and also this sort of like bad girls club as well sometimes like it's like what happened to diamond she she faked um had her ex-girlfriend come on the show with her just so she could be on tv same thing just to be on tv but not the same thing as well just to be on tv so was chris trying to be on tv i don't know so yeah but anyways k michelle is working that hair so pretty in her new music video that we all probably seen and then the last couple of scenes next we see mimi looking also pretty as mimi and erin's birthday party and Car carly gives everyone the invitations to the to k michelle's album listening party and jessica dime ends up ripping and she, Mimi's like, oh, here, you can have my invitation instead. And she just ends up ripping it up. And they don't they don't go. And then Dime spills that scrap. Oh, and then Bambi comes in with her date. And then Dimey spills that scrap. You've been hitting her up. And I thought a fight was going to happen. I guess it, did ha it hasn't happened. And then in the next episode, we see Scrap is going to be sentenced possibly for five years and we see tier on the next episode and that's about it so i thank you all for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe for more reviews and i'll see you all next time bye